All right, so for question 6-3, a uh, steel rotating beam test specimen has an ultimate strength of 120 kilopounds per square inch. Estimate the life of the specimen if it's tested at a complete reverse stress amplitude of 70 kilopounds per square inch. Okay, so I uh, wrote these out. Um, when we're dealing with, the, with steels and trying to find the fatigue and everything, we tend to use the SN, like the idealized SN diagram this like method and and most of the time we're going to be dealing with high cycles right like the cycles like above 10 to the power of 3 and usually below like high cycle but finite life right between 10 to the power of 3 and 10 to the power of 6 because then there is going there is a relationship that they derived which is equals to the strength the fatigue strength equals a times n to the power of b where a and b is kind of like constant based on your ultimate uh, tensile strength, right? Ultimate strength, sorry. And then the N is the life factor, right? And we're mostly, most of the time we'll be concerning with that because like low cycle and finite life, that's like, it's mostly gonna be between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 times the ultimate strength to the ultimate strength, right? Like this, this section over here. And like after that, so like the infinite life of a high cycle, which is going to be like just half of uh, SUT, or it depends, right? There's going to be, there's two scenarios. Um, so basically it's, it's, you can memorize all the, like what we need to do or anything like memorizing the equations, but if you try to understand it as an engineer and how to solve it. So yeah, looking at the, um, there's like a general process, right? So you need to find the endurance limit, endurance limit because we're, we're focusing at this region of the graph and we care about this and this, right? Which is the beginning and the end. And the beginning, which is S ultimate, we have that. And the in ultimate uh, fatigue f uh, factor, a fraction, the little F, that can be obtained using this graph, right? You're dealing with either, you know, English unit or metric, or you could read from the graph. And with that, you can plug into A or B, right? These are the only two equations, like the numbers we're concerning us, like what we're trying to look for. And see, like, once you find these two, you have A and B, right? And you just plug into A and B to find the ultimate, uh, like, sorry, the fatigue strength, or you manipulate the equation to find N, right? And from that, that's basically solvable. So we can start finding the uh, SE or the endur uh, endurance limit uh, strength, which in this case uh, is, this is the ultimate strength is less than 200. So we know that it's just a half of the ultimate strength which in this case is going to be 60 kilo uh, pounds per square inch, right? And also we can find the uh, endurance, like fatigue strength fraction, uh, fraction. So for that, you can plug in the ultimate strength right in here and here, or you can just read from the graph. So in this case, I'm going to read it from the graph. So 120, that is 0 0.82 exactly, right? 0.82 and then make sure to specify it right saying that oh like obtained like from graph usually like just cite it like say uh figure fig 6-23 right so your professor wouldn't like oh where'd you get this number um so with these two so se okay so uh, the uh, endurance uh, limit strength, like we, there's a prime with it because we're just dealing with the beam itself, the rotating beam itself. We did not account for the design, the environment, the manufacturing, and the temperature that was in, which is environment or reliability. Um, these will be the modification factor for the endurance limit, and that's going to be like provided or encountered like accounted for for like later questions so we'll talk about it in a, another video but 
just giving you a heads up, like we can treat this as prime E in this situation as S E because any other like whether if it's like you know what kind of surface design or what kind of like how it was manufactured or the reliability, it wasn't given, right? So we're just dealing with S E here. So we can just say, oh, the S prime E is S E because I believe it was the uh SF equals KA, KB, and all the way to KE, and times the S prime E, right? Oh, sorry. And then this gives you the SE. All of these are one, right? We're not accounted for, so this equals this. Okay, uh, so now we have everything. We just plug in our A, so F 0 0.82 times 220, 120, sorry, and divided by SE, which is uh, 60. Right, and to the power of 2, and b equals negative 1 over 3 log of f, which is 0 0.82 times 120 over uh, 60, and that's it. Right, you get a equals um, 1, see, I think you get a equals 161.7 kilo uh, pounds per square inch, and then b, you get uh, somewhere about 0 0.0716, uh, right? Okay, so with these two, um, sorry, it's 3737. Seven. Uh, with these two, you can, so now we have this equation, right? And we're looking for B, uh, sorry, we're looking for N. So we just plug in, like substitute the strength, uh, fatigue strength with the one that we're applying on it. Right, which is 70 um, kilo pounds per square inch equals a n. So easy algebra, we just manipulate the equation to set isol to isolate n. Right, so it's equals uh, this. Right, we just substitute the SF with the uh, rotating um, or the uh, stress amplitude. Right, because that's what we're, that's the one we're applying on. We want to know if we apply this, how long uh, this beam is going to survive. Uh, you know, it's going to fatigue, right? So if you plug everything in, your N should give you, I'm going to plug this in to my calculator. So this is 70 uh, divided by, divided by A, which is 161.37. To the power of one divided by negative zero point zero seven one six. So in the end, you should get somewhere about one one six four zero nine, right? Or you can estimate it to be um, one point like it's within the region of ten to the power of one two three four five, right? Ten to the power of five. five okay and this is what we're uh, remember the unit it's the cycles so that's it uh, for this question um relatively simple uh, it's just you know it's the early questions uh, it doesn't encounter for those but you know for the rest of it as well like if you're accounting for the, like the ka kb like the you know it's just one extra steps on top of it right you're still following the general uh general like methods, right? You, you use the S N diagram. Uh, we're interested in the F, the fatigue strength factor. You you have the ultimate, and you also need to find the S E, the uh, uh, you know limited strength, and that's it, right? Everything else is just constants. After you find these, you know A and B, uh, and then you can just either find the N with the given stress amplitude, or you can find the stress amplitude with the given, given amount of cycles that it needs to survive in. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. Good luck on your studies, and I'll see you in my future videos.